Welcome to Solar Punk Life. Wanted to take a quick minute to share with you a book that I've been reading that was sent in to me by uh, one of our community members. So, quick shout out and thank you to Jeffrey Hill for sending in these books. I'm kind of a slow reader lately with life being so busy. Uh, I was really captivated by this book though that was sent in. It's Humankind, A Hopeful History by Rutger Bregman. What it really comes into is looking at history as it's been taught to us, looking at news stories, the way that the stories of history and everything have been framed to us, and how we build up a set of expectations from those stories and the way they're told that don't always match up with what is actually out there that humans are doing. A big example in the book is the uh, Lord of the Flies book by William Golding, which goes into how some boys, when stranded on an island, turn into absolute monsters, and the book is billed as being, um, this is human nature. This is how people just react, right? Well, in Humankind, the author here, Rooker, goes into how that's not true, and how when you look at people in actual everyday situations, when you look at people in unusual situations, people on the whole are kind. They are helpful. They will jump into canals to save people who are drowning. They will go out of their way to be helpful, to be kind, to be solar punks. This book goes into so many different examples and stories and, and anecdotes and, and, and reasons why you can really put trust back into humanity. You can really operate from the perspective of trust and most of the time you will not be disappointed. Yes, of course, there are many cases out there in the real world where things go bad or people go bad and bad things happen. But the fact is that the news, um, media, uh, your social media feeds, what have you, the way that information travels through society tends to sensationalize the extremes, tends to um, make things look worse than they are. Uh, in Humankind, A Hopeful History, the author goes into how in times when plane crashes have been decreasing, media coverage of plane crashes will actually go up because as something becomes less frequent, it becomes more exceptional and it gets reported on more so if you're looking for a way to find hope about the future of humanity i really recommend you read humankind a hopeful history by rutger bregman uh, there's an additional book that was also sent to us i haven't had a chance to read yet it's called utopia for realists it's about universal basic income it's about a 15-hour work week um, as I said, I haven't gotten a chance to read that, but it's by the same author. It was sent in by Jeffrey at the same time. Again, thank you for both of these books. Before you go, though, for those of you who are watching this during October of 2021, right now there's a Kickstarter that is running for the Solar Punk magazine. As of time of this recording, there's 23 days left to back this. So you still have the rest of October 2021 to get in on this. There are a lot of very creative and talented people. There's new authors, there's new artists, um, and there's established authors and artists that are gonna be participating in this magazine. They have raised so far fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Their goal was four thousand dollars, so they are funded, and they are funded not just for their first issue, but for their first four issues. You can follow them at Solar Punk Lit Mag on Twitter, and their website is SolarPunkMagazine.com. So if you're a fan of what we do here at Solar Punk Life, I know you're going to enjoy what they're doing over at Solar Punk Magazine. So make sure you follow them and click and like and subscribe and forward our video on to share this around. We still have till the end of October. They're trying to get their first full year completely funded. They're almost there.
So check them out on Kickstarter. There's a lot of great rewards out there. There's signed books. There's other great features that you can get. And support them as much as you can because if you're a fan of Solar Punk Life, you're going to be a fan of Solar Punk Magazine. So thanks for watching. Take care. And as always, do good and be good.